Well, Yellowstone is one of the country's most visited national parks, but social media rumors about the Yellowstone volcano on the verge of eruption are causing a lot of confusion. Deep within the heart of the American West, a land of geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles lies restless beneath a thin crust of earth. Yellowstone National Park, a place that draws millions for its wild beauty and untamed thermal wonders, has once again become the focus of global attention. In a stunning development, geologists have issued a red alert after detecting signs that the Yellowstone supervolcano may be approaching a critical phase. The signals, ground deformation, heightened seismic activity, and rising gas emissions paint a portrait of subterranean energy on the verge of release. Beneath the tranquil meadows and pristine lakes, forces older than humanity itself appear to be stirring. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The alert came after a series of tremors rippled through the park over the past weeks, growing in frequency and magnitude. These earthquakes, numbering in the hundreds, are known as earthquake swarms, a hallmark of magma movement beneath the surface. Normally, Yellowstone experiences dozens of such swarms every year, but what alarmed scientists this time was their intensity and depth. Seismographs recorded a cluster of shallow quakes centered near Norris Geyser Basin, one of the park's most thermally active zones. Accompanying this was measurable uplift of the ground, nearly six inches in some regions over just a few months, signaling that magma might be pushing upward, straining the crust that caps the colossal magma chamber below. At the United States Geological Survey, USGS, monitoring stations encircling Yellowstone, instruments have been recording unprecedented gas emissions. Elevated levels of sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide suggest increased degassing of magma close to the surface. Satellite imagery confirmed thermal anomalies, patches of land warmer than usual appearing in unexpected places. To volcanologists, such signs form a pattern too familiar to ignore. Together, they whisper of movement, pressure, and the kind of geological restlessness that precedes eruption. The red alert, the highest warning level, doesn't mean an eruption is guaranteed, but it signals that conditions are ripe enough to make it a real possibility. The Yellowstone supervolcano is unlike ordinary volcanoes. Most people envision a towering cone, like Mount St. Helens or Fuji. But Yellowstone is an immense caldera, a collapsed volcanic basin spanning roughly 45 miles across. It is the result of three cataclysmic eruptions over the past 2.1 million years, the most recent occurring about 640,000 years ago. Each event reshaped North America's landscape, spewing ash across continents and altering global climate. Underneath the calm surface of forests and geysers lies a molten colossus, its magma chamber extending miles deep, with a volume estimated at over 46,000 cubic kilometers. This chamber, a vast reservoir of partially molten rock, is what fuels the park's thermal features. And now, potentially, it's awakening. For years, scientists have studied Yellowstone with a mix of fascination and apprehension. The complex web of geothermal features, Old Faithful's clockwork eruptions, the rainbow-colored Grand Prismatic Spring, the hissing fumaroles, are visible manifestations of immense energy below. The supervolcano's plumbing system channels heat upward, venting it harmlessly through water and steam. But when that heat and pressure can no longer find easy escape routes, it builds. The recent surge in activity suggests that this equilibrium may be tipping. Geologists monitoring ground tilt and crustal stress have reported that the uplift pattern resembles inflation, as if the Earth itself were breathing in, expanding under internal strain. The implications of this shift have gripped the scientific world. Research teams from universities and federal agencies have converged on the region, deploying drones, remote sensors, and thermal imaging arrays to map the changes in real time. Data streams reveal a symphony of tremors, some too faint to be felt, others sharp enough to rattle instruments hundreds of miles away. Each tremor is a pulse, a reminder that the ground beneath Yellowstone is alive and dynamic. Seismic tomography, akin to an X-ray of the Earth, has shown areas of fresh magma intrusion, molten rock forcing its way into upper chambers. For geologists, this is the clearest indication yet that the system is recharging. Public reaction has been swift and divided. While scientists caution against panic, the phrase red alert has sparked global headlines. For residents of nearby towns like West Yellowstone, Gardner and Cody, unease hangs in the air. Emergency services have activated contingency plans, 
establishing evacuation routes and communication networks in case of a sudden escalation. The park itself remains open for now, but access to several geothermal basins has been restricted due to ground instability. Tourists, once drawn to the area's natural wonders, now find themselves witnessing history in the making. Standing atop what could become the epicenter of a planetary event, the thought of a Yellowstone eruption stirs both awe and fear because of the sheer scale involved. Unlike conventional eruptions that affect regions or nations, a supervolcanic event has global implications. The last time Yellowstone erupted, it ejected more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material, thousands of times the output of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Such an event would blanket much of North America in ash, disrupt climate patterns, and alter atmospheric chemistry worldwide. Yet, even short of a cataclysm, smaller eruptions or hydrothermal explosions could devastate the region. Steam-driven blasts, caused by water superheated beneath trapped rock layers, can occur with little warning, carving craters hundreds of feet wide. Several new fumaroles opening in recent days hint that these processes may already be intensifying. Beneath the scientific instruments and data streams lies a deeper realization. Yellowstone is not just a park or a landmark. It is a window into Earth's fiery heart. The magma chamber beneath it is part of a mantle plume, a hot upwelling of rock that has remained active for millions of years. This plume fuels not only Yellowstone's geothermal energy, but also its periodic eruptions. As it rises from deep within the planet, it melts surrounding rock creating buoyant pockets of magma. When these pockets accumulate faster than they can dissipate, pressure builds and eventually, the system must find release. The red alert implies that this process is accelerating, that the subsurface magma is restless and seeking a way out. Monitoring teams continue to report fluctuations in hydrothermal activity. Geysers once predictable have become erratic, erupting at irregular intervals or ceasing altogether. Springs have changed color, an indication of shifts in temperature and mineral concentration. Animals, sensitive to vibrations and gas emissions, have been observed behaving unusually. Bison herds migrating earlier than usual, elk avoiding certain valleys, and birds abandoning long-favored nesting sites. Such biological cues, though anecdotal, add another layer to the growing tapestry of warning signs. Nature, it seems, can sense the deep tremors that humans can only measure. From a geological perspective, what makes Yellowstone both mesmerizing and terrifying is its cyclic nature. The time between major eruptions averages roughly 600,000 to 700,000 years. The last one occurred around 640,000 years ago, a number that has fueled speculation that the supervolcano is due. While this concept is oversimplified, it underscores humanity's vulnerability before the clockwork of geologic time. Eruptions of this magnitude are neither predictable nor preventable. They unfold on timescales far beyond human comprehension. Yet the clustering of recent activity has many wondering if that ancient cycle is nearing another turning point. As the red alert reverberates through scientific institutions, discussions about preparedness have taken on new urgency. Researchers are modeling eruption scenarios using supercomputers, simulating how ash and gases might spread, how air travel would be disrupted, and how ecosystems would react to prolonged sunlight reduction. The findings are sobering. Even a moderate eruption could inject enough sulfur aerosols into the stratosphere to cool the planet's average temperature by several degrees for years. Agriculture, transportation, and infrastructure would all feel the effects. Still, for scientists on the ground, the focus remains immediate. Understanding what the signals truly mean before speculation outpaces evidence. The National Park's hydrothermal basins, once playgrounds for curiosity, are now under constant surveillance. Instruments measure water temperature, chemical composition, and ground conductivity. Every anomaly is scrutinized. The famous Old Faithful Geyser, usually predictable within minutes, has shown irregularities in its eruption schedule. Some scientists interpret this as surface-level instability caused by shifting pressure zones beneath. Others believe it reflects deeper perturbations in the supervolcano's plumbing system. The uncertainty fuels both fascination and fear, two emotions that have always surrounded Yellowstone's enigmatic power. Geologists stress that red alert is not synonymous with imminent eruption. Instead, it signals that the volcano's behavior has entered a phase requiring maximum readiness. It is a call for vigilance, not despair. Nonetheless, 
the announcement has reignited public imagination, spawning debates about whether humanity could survive such an event. Could technology offer any defense against a supervolcano? Could we vent pressure artificially or seed clouds to offset cooling? The consensus among experts remains grim. Nature's forces at this scale are beyond control. What can be done is monitoring, preparation, and a sober respect for the power that resides beneath our feet. Deep in the bowels of the earth at depths where rock flows like syrup, the story unfolds invisibly. Magma accumulates, gases bubble, and pressure mounts against the brittle crust. Every tremor is a whisper from below. Every plume of steam a sigh of warning. The caldera breathes, its rhythm slow yet unmistakably alive. Those who study it understand that Yellowstone is not a threat in isolation. It is a reminder of Earth's dynamic nature, of the balance between creation and destruction that shapes our planet. The mountains, rivers, and plains of the West all owe their existence to these very forces. Yet to live above them is to dwell in the shadow of titanic potential. Around the clock, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory streams live data to research centers worldwide. Scientists interpret patterns, compare seismic waveforms, and cross-check anomalies. Collaboration has never been more intense. International teams from Japan, Iceland, and Italy have joined efforts, lending expertise from their own volcanic regions. The data reveal a complex picture, not just a swelling magma chamber, but interconnected pockets of molten rock feeding upward, fracturing the crust in unpredictable ways. These intrusions are like veins of fire threading through the Earth's bones. If they reach the surface, they could open vents, leading to lava flows or explosive ash columns. Meanwhile, the human story unfolds above this restless giant. Towns near the park buzz with uncertainty. Store shelves empty faster. Gas stations fill with travelers heading outward. And local authorities coordinate with federal agencies to ensure communication lines remain open. News crews descend, turning once quiet streets into stages for speculation. Yet among the anxiety, there is also reverence, a recognition that Yellowstone, for all its danger, is also one of the most awe-inspiring natural systems on Earth. Standing at the rim of the caldera, one feels both infinitesimal and connected, witnessing the pulse of the planet itself. The geological history of Yellowstone is written in ash layers and lava flows scattered across the continent. From Nebraska to the Pacific Northwest, ancient deposits tell the story of past cataclysms. These layers, some tens of feet thick, serve as reminders of the supervolcano's reach. Every eruption reshaped ecosystems, carved new terrains, and altered the course of rivers. To study these strata is to read the diary of Earth's most powerful temper tantrums. And now, with instruments recording similar pre-eruption signals, it feels as though a new chapter may be forming, one that will again leave its mark on the geological record. Even as scientists measure, theorize, and model, one truth stands immutable. The forces driving Yellowstone are primordial. They are the same that built continents, forged mountains, and birthed the atmosphere. Humanity's presence here is recent, a fleeting visitor on a volatile world. To witness the Earth preparing for another act of transformation is both terrifying and humbling. The Red Alert is not just a scientific classification, it is a reminder that beneath civilization's thin veneer lies a planet still ruled by fire and stone. In the laboratories analyzing volcanic gases, the mood is focused but tense. Isotopic ratios of helium and carbon point to new magma influx from the mantle, confirming that deeper sources are feeding the system. Such intrusions are like adding logs to a fire already smoldering. The crust absorbs some of the pressure, but not indefinitely. The challenge for scientists is to discern whether the energy will be released as a series of small outbursts or one monumental eruption. Predicting that transition is an art as much as a science, blending data interpretation with an understanding of geologic behavior honed through decades of observation. The world watches closely. Satellites orbiting hundreds of miles above relay infrared and radar imagery daily, tracking changes in ground elevation with millimeter precision. The data show subtle bulges forming along the caldera's rim, patterns eerily similar to those recorded before past eruptions of smaller volcanoes. Yet, unlike those systems, Yellowstone's scale magnifies every uncertainty. The slightest error in interpretation could mean the difference between a false alarm and an underestimation of danger. Still, scientists emphasize that transparency and vigilance are essential. 
The red alert is not meant to incite panic, but to ensure readiness, awareness, and respect for nature's complexity. The region's Native American tribes, whose oral histories preserve stories of fire mountains and earth spirits, view the current signs with solemn familiarity. To them, Yellowstone's rumbling is part of a cycle as old as the world itself, a reminder of the balance between destruction and renewal. Their traditions speak of times when the land shook and skies darkened, yet life endured. These perspectives add a layer of depth to the scientific narrative, bridging empirical data with cultural memory. In both, the message is clear. The Earth speaks, and humanity must listen. Beneath the calm expanse of Yellowstone Lake, sensors continue to detect low-frequency tremors that ripple through the crust like distant thunder. These vibrations, almost inaudible to human ears, hint at immense pressure shifting far below. The magma chamber, miles wide and several miles deep, appears to be expanding unevenly, an imbalance that could be opening new fractures through which superheated fluids surge. Scientists stationed at field observatories describe the sensation of standing in a place where the Earth feels alive, the ground humming faintly as if resonating with its own energy. Even in the stillness of dawn, the land seems to exhale warmth, as if breathing from deep time. Across the park, rivers of mist drift through the valleys at sunrise, concealing the restless machinery beneath. Steam vents now spout in clusters that didn't exist months ago, forming along invisible fault lines. Some release water so hot that it instantly vaporizes, while others emit a hissing pulse of gas in sync with tremors miles away. The synchronization fascinates geologists because it suggests the hydrothermal network, an intricate system of cracks, conduits, and underground pools, is responding as a single organism to subsurface pressure changes. It is not chaos but communication, a system speaking through vibration, temperature, and vapor. The red alert has also intensified interest in Yellowstone's lesser known features. The mud volcanoes and acidic springs that bubble with a strange ferocity. These pools, once small and tranquil, have begun to churn violently, their surfaces pocked by rising gas bubbles. Thermal cameras reveal expanding zones of extreme heat around them, sometimes widening by several meters in days. What lies beneath them is a labyrinth of boiling water channels, some of which may connect directly to magma intrusions. The boundaries between water, rock, and molten material grow thin in such places where the slightest shift in pressure could release bursts of explosive steam. From the edges of the caldera, the view seems deceptively serene. Pine forests stretch toward distant peaks and herds of elk graze without visible concern. Yet every root and stone rests upon a living engine. The magnetic field around the park has fluctuated subtly, another sign of thermal and chemical changes underground. Magnetometers record shifts in polarity that often precede the migration of molten material. This invisible dance of magnetism further confirms that Yellowstone's inner currents are in motion, rewriting the energy map of the terrain. Researchers, exhausted yet captivated, continue their vigil. They record, measure, and theorize, aware that what they are witnessing may mark a pivotal chapter in geological observation. Never before has humanity monitored a supervolcano with such precision. The data being gathered now could become a priceless record of how Earth's most powerful systems awaken. For some scientists, this is not just research, it is revelation. To stand before the potential birth of an eruption on this scale is to confront the raw narrative of the planet itself, stripped of abstraction, pulsing with elemental truth. Night over Yellowstone carries its own tension. Under the vast canopy of stars, geysers illuminate the darkness with white columns of steam glowing like phantoms. The air smells faintly of sulfur and wet minerals, a reminder that beneath every quiet surface, the planet's breath is hot and volatile. Somewhere below, magma moves in silence, carving new paths, shaping unseen destinies. The world waits, not in fear, but in awe, for what this ancient heart of fire will do next. Lightning flickers over the horizon, its reflection trembling on Yellowstone's lakes as thunder rolls through the valleys. The energy of the storm seems to echo the unrest below, sky and earth mirroring one another. In that charged silence afterward, it feels as though nature itself pauses, anticipating the inevitable awakening. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Yellowstone's red alert and eruption risks? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.